Well, Simon Calder, our travel expert, is here with an array of props. Oh, yes, here we are. <laughs> Look what at is this. That? Your international driving permit. Somebody just said, is this a ration book? It does no. look like that. <laughs> look, just imagine a week today you're in Spain or Italy or France, you're driving along a motorway. Suddenly, your driving licence, if there is a no deal Brexit, despite the EU symbol, stops being valid and you will need certainly one, possibly two, and maybe even three different international driving permits. It's going this to be is because we're due exciting. to leave. We're due to yes. leave next Friday. Exactly. I mean, that if might not happen. If the extension happens, then we'll be th all right. Then you'll be all right. But also, if, you're, if there is no deal and we leave, your European health insurance card will also stop being valid as from midnight. So exciting times, which kind of explains why perhaps people are a little bit reticent about booking holidays yeah. abroad. You've right. answered a couple of questions already. Helen <laughs> said, what happens to our European hit cards? And Lynette says, what happens to have driving problems to Spain with two dogs in August? Oh. She's looking to book a ferry. <laughs> yeah, OK, if you've got pets, and this is actually one reason why so many people are staying at home this Easter, lots of people like to take their pets abroad. Yeah. No certainty at all about what, in the event of a no-deal Brexit, will happen about pets' passports. So if you're going away in August, actually, that's very good timing. Early April is when you need to start planning up to four months ahead. We still don't know what regime will apply to our, our pooches and, and cats and indeed ferrets um, after Brexit. Um, and uh, so therefore people with, with pets are in the, the trickiest position. And certainly anybody who suddenly thought, well, let's go away this, this Easter might find that they are in problems. So it could cause problems, so just to make sure yeah. you check before you go. Yeah. Uh, what, what, yeah. I mean, so look, ultimately, what sort of people? What should people be thinking if they are planning on booking and going abroad? And how scared should they be, or should they be scared? Well, look, if you're going away before midnight next Friday, then there is no problem. Your British passport will allow you into the European Union up to and including the day of expiry. If we leave without a no-deal Brexit from the 13th of April onwards, then you're going to have to check everything very carefully. Passports must be valid for at least six months, and that's a particular problem with kids because their passports seem to run out every five minutes or so. Um, and for adults, you also need to check that your passport wasn't issued more than nine years, six months ago. You could be in the bizarre position of having a passport valid for almost 15 months, and you turn up at the airport and they say, sorry, you haven't got enough left on your passport. Um, there is a good government online passport checker service and a couple of things. This only applies if there's no deal. Yeah. And and it doesn't apply to the Republic of Ireland, where normal rules okay. will continue. So let's talk about the upside. And yeah. the happy consequence of all of this is that British um, tourism spots are really getting a real boost. Oh, are that, they rising? Are, they, are their prices going up to uh, reflect the demand? They certainly are. <laughs> yeah. That's an extraordinary comparison. And all these prices are live. I've just checked them in the mm. last 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, for an Easter weekend at uh, Centre Parks in Sherwood Forest, a very nice place, just three nights, you will pay £900. You could, for the same price, fly out from Bristol on Thursday, the day before Brexit, no problem with your passports, um, for a week. Stay in Lanzarote, very nice self-catering <laughs> apartment, including your flights, your luggage, your transfers and your accommodation, £900 for either of them. Would it's you worth have, taking uh, the risk, isn't it? But why, have, no have European prices dropped because of Brexit? They most then? certainly are. Yeah. Um, just, I mean, leaving tomorrow, going to Portugal for a weekend, how lovely that that be, under £100 return from Stansted and all sorts of other deals if you want a week half board from. Um, Birmingham to Mallorca on Tuesday, going with uh, uh, Tui, that's going to cost you per person £240 for a family of four, under £1,000, booking at this stage for a school holiday, the companies would be looking for at least twice that Yes, price. that's unheard of. So there are yeah. some options if you're willing there to take that are. chance. Yeah. Simon, thank you very much for coming in. I can't believe those driving licences. That's oh, extraordinary. Hilarious, isn't it? Very good, yeah. 1949, 1926 and 1968. Why does it need to be a book and knock? What's inside it? Oh, well, let me have a look. Here we are. This is, I think, the 19... 1949 one valid in a number of countries. It just oh, gives you like all sorts of yes, exactly. you are. So, oh, um, and then you've got an attractive picture at the end. There we are. <laughs> right, you've got yours. Okay. I love that. Yeah. I Mug love shot. that. Fantastic. That's but the lovely. 1926 one, you're only going to need in plucky Liechtenstein. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's Anyone, driving, driving to Liechtenstein. Good luck. <laughs>